Welcome back to Big Gold Belt Media. I am Damien G, back with you with another review. This time, Ip Man, Young Ip Man, Crisis, scheduled for television release April 28th of this year for digital download as well as 4K and Blu-ray on May 16th. Now, this follows the lineage of the Ip Man movie series. So this is more of a prequel going way back when Ip Man was a high school student in Hong Kong. And if you haven't watched Ip Man, go back and watch it. <laughs> because I've been watching this series for about over, I believe it's over a decade. No, 14 years or so with Donnie Yen as the titular character of Ip Man, uh, which essentially is a person that defies all logic in terms of their martial arts acumen. Uh, in, in these films, uh, it's very fantastical. It's very akin to when we watched Kung Fu movies when we were younger as children. Uh, when wrestling was finished, they would show a random Kung Fu flick. And the Ip Man series, as it's carried on, continues to live in that bubble, which I greatly appreciate because I love me some Kung Fu movies. And this does not disappoint from an action perspective. If I had to tell you within the first 30 seconds, there's an action montage. Would you be interested? Yeah, there's a 30, there's an action montage within the first 30 seconds. Within three minutes, a pencil is being used as a deadly weapon. That should tell you enough right there that this is going to be high octane, go, 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 light on the plot until we get to about the middle of the film and this only has about a one hour and 18 minute runtime but about 30 minutes into the film we kind of get our first plot twist after there's a couple of things that happens there's a prisoner on death row there's a potential prison break there's corruption it involves a high school there's some weird love tension going on there's a, a bit of a brother a brother interaction between Ip Man and another character uh, that has a very protag and yet antagonistic at the same time. There's little bits of classism in this. As I said, there's the, a couple of plot twists. And the second one, I did not see coming at all. Uh, I thought that was a very intriguing plot twist when... When something kind of surprises you in a movie that you think is paint by numbers and off the proverbial checklist, it's very, very heartfelt for me to say that. To say I was pleasantly surprised by a couple of double turns, I'll say it, to use a wrestling terminology. Uh, there's a whole bunch of random explosions in the first half of this movie. You would have thought Michael Bay directed it. Okay, there's a lot of Stormtrooper aim going on in this film as well. If you're familiar with the Star Wars franchise, a lot of people have bad aim. Talking to you, Hong Kong police in this movie, a lot of bad aim. There's a lot of nameless, faceless villains, henchmen and the like. There's a femme fatale fighting character. Not going to lie, had a little bit of a crush on her. There, there's a, a bit of a, a chain and sickle move going on. There's a lot of, of standardized Ip Man stuff going on. The rapid fire punches, the blocks, I almost hit my hat, the blocks, the deflections, the fluid motions, all expertly done. I did notice a couple of weird graphical hitches with the special effects and a little bit of the stunt work does come across as cheesy to our watching eyes, but... At the same time, it's an Ip Man film. What did we expect? <laughs> I expected to see karate, kung fu, uh, a whole bunch of just maelstrom of action. And I got it within, like I said, the first 30 seconds of this film. We got it. There's classical music to a firing squad. There's a villain who has a, a very rooted reason for what what they do in this film. And if you follow wrestling, he looks really in his Shinsuke Nakamura bag. Uh, if you follow WWE or New Japan Pro Wrestling, you know who Shinsuke Nakamura is. But the, act the actor I'm, I'm talking about is Feng Bing Mao. For me, 
he steals the show as the the main antagonist but he displays this antagonist with a whole bunch of different idiosyncratic viewpoints and, and movements and vocal patterns and he goes from sounding maniacal to calculated to concerned to emotional almost in the blink of an eye which shows how unstable he has become in the history of this movie not even just with the movie they go into his backstory and why he does what he does and i got to admit it got me because i i understood part of the reason he was doing what he was doing i don't really agree with him kidnapping children in a high school and holding them for ransom which is the main plot of this story that if man tries to save these kids at the high school uh from the kidnapping uh, of Feng Bing Mao and all these things kind of pulled together a little bit better toward the middle and the ending of the film where everybody's cards are on the table it mans the police the criminals his friend that's like a brother to him the 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 love interest everything kind of just mixes together really well there's a hallway fight scene that i feel is is daredevil light if you watch the netflix series for daredevil and that uh, very uh, iconic hallway scene uh, there's a, a a secret passage fight there's one loose end that i didn't like in this movie one and if you watch this entire film there's a character that just disappears after a major moment of the movie and their story isn't tied up and it irked me at the end and that was probably my main complaint from this movie and yes is it going to be fantastical martial arts moves yes is it going to be the good the good it meant action we've known for over a decade yes is the plot great no but it keeps your attention in between the martial arts fights so that's all i need from a popcorn movie and, and something like this who has a little that has a little bit of heart small bit of heart with all the characters you grow to have an appreciation like I did of this movie but I'm not a big fan of giving ratings so I'll just give out a letter grade for me personally I give this film a solid B taking it as a popcorn movie taking into consideration all the action scenes the very weak to mid plot until we get halfway through the movie when things start to make a lot more sense that one plot hole that was not solved at the end i wonder how many of you in the comments can comment on what it was to see if we're on the same page it didn't sit right with me i know it's nitpicking but that's what stopped it from being a b plus in my in my viewpoint on this movie but let me know in the comments everybody this has been my review of young ip man crisis scheduled for tv release april 28th digital blue uh blu-ray digital download and all that good stuff on may 16th i'm damien g find me on all your social media platforms at damien g show across the board biggoldbeltmedia.com for your one-stop shop for all things entertainment sports wrestling and the like and folks i will see you next time Big old bell.